there's a number of new areas we've become interested in for phase four and for our current evaluations. Uh, one of them has to do with further studies of so-called executive functions. So we're very interested in seeing how people plan, execute, and interpret ongoing activities in front of them. In essence, showing them movies and asking them to make comments about what they're seeing. For example, to divide up a series of actions into episodes. When does one episode begin? When does it another one an end and then when does another one begin and what is the meaning of what they're seeing this is like real life in essence I mean when people go into a situation they may want to recognize the objects in the room uh, remember the name of the person they're with but in essence they want to know well why am I here what's happening what's going to go on that is something the frontal lobe does it does it very well it, ha it allows us to have foresight so we're studying that in a little bit more detail for phase four in addition, we've become much more interested in human social beliefs, a very high-level aspect of social functioning. This includes everything from religious to political to legal and to moral beliefs. And we're studying them in a lot more detail because it's likely that damage to the frontal lobes of the brain and the temporal lobes of the brain that we see with our vets with traumatic brain injury will affect in some way the nature of those higher level social beliefs. Now, is this meaningful for our day-to-day -day functioning in life? Well, it could be. I'll give you one example. Say uh, the example of legal beliefs. So we might have somebody judge uh, how uh, much they want to punish a perpetrator who's committed a crime, and we vary the severity of the crimes. So we want to see which crime they rank as the worst. They might want to execute somebody or give them uh, capital punishment, all the way to probation on the other end. So we have them make these judgments and rankings. And we know from a previous study, a smaller study, that patients who have frontal lobe lesions, in particular compared to lesions elsewhere in the brain due to traumatic brain injury, have a more difficult time doing that rank ordering. All right, so you say, well, we're not going to put them on a jury, okay? They're not going to do very well if they're on a jury. But forget about a jury. Let's say they're at home and they have kids, and the kids misbehave. That creates more conflicts with their spouse, for example, in determining how to punish those kids. The spouse might have one point of view, which is consistent with sort of the normal view of how to punish, but the person who's had the traumatic brain injury may be less able to do that and may not punish effectively because of that. So that's a place where we study a higher belief, which is how you punish somebody for misbehavior, uh, and it can be translated directly into the home and how to punish a child, for example, for misbehavior.